So we don't have the kids today and we get to go to Costco, just us. So I'm gonna film it because I never film it because when we go with the kids, it's like complete chaos in there. And usually when we go, we have the kids. We are going shopping for a family of six. We eat mostly organic and non-toxic. Um, so we're pretty picky with our groceries for the most part. But we also, I do have to note that we also feed our dogs raw food. So I'll, I'll show you guys what is for the dogs so that you can like take that off of the bill. But so I guess technically we're a family of Nine. Yeah, because uh, we have four dogs. No, ten. What? Family of six plus four dogs is ten. Oh, <laughs> ten. six plus four is ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just believed you. <laughs> well, Oliver is new. But my babysitter is calling. Anyways, so we're gonna go to Costco. I'm gonna film it. I'm gonna tell you guys how much it was at the end. It's gonna be really expensive. It always is, but. Groceries and food is like what we budget our money for the most like if there's any Extra money like it goes towards food because food is so important and we've always been that way like When we were younger, we didn't have very much money like we didn't go on vacations and stuff like that Like all of our extra money was for food because it's just it's always been our top priority and then we're gonna go to sprouts after too and I'll also film that because usually the go-to places that we shop at are Costco, Sprouts, and Whole Foods. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Okay, cool. Price of celery went up like crazy. It used to be so cheap. Wow. Baby carrots are soaked in bleach and they're really bad for you. Go get them. The bees. No bleach. No bleach. You always want to smell the butt with every pineapple. And if it smells sweet, then it's ripe and it's ready. Is that one sweet? Oh yeah, see I told you to smell those ones. Okay, yeah. get that one, get one more. I want one for the pineapple tonic and then one for eating. That one's not that yellow at the bottom. Well, and this is a really good price for pineapple though. Oh yeah, that is good. Organic Fuji apples. This is the ground beef that we get for the dogs. So. Always double bag it. Yeah, we eat grass fed for the most part. Sometimes we'll eat this if we're in a pinch, but mostly we're grass fed. But the dogs, this is one of the meats that we put in their food that we make them. We still have chicken breast at home, so we're just gonna get some of the organic 
chicken drumstick. The three pack. This is the turkey that we also get for the dogs. Fresh mozzarella. And then the kids are obsessed with the snack cheese version of this. We love these grass-fed kielbasa things. Here you go. <laughs> Sausages. That's all we're going to get over here. We have some of these pickles at home. We always have those on hand. I get one of these for the kids and I slice it because the ingredients are really good. It's better than getting deli meat. Get these mostly for Ellen, but Auden loves them too. And Eve likes to dip her chips in these. I love to keep organic ravioli on hand. This one looks so good. It's basil and ricotta. Yeah, this is good. We get these frozen mixed veggies for the dog food too. Just kidding. Yes. Another one. The grass-fed beef patty in the bag. We always get these in the summer, but we actually have a pack at home, so we don't need to get one. We always get some shrimp. We feed this to the dogs and we eat it. Always get wild salmon. We eat salmon at least once a week. Get some of the organic Greek yogurt. We eat a lot of yogurt, so we usually get two. Kids love these snack cheeses too. Like to use this cheese on sandwiches. We're getting half and half. My mom needs one, and we need we need some. It's organic too. Now we need four. coconut water that we get. Mm -hmm. It's the Kirkland version of the Harmless Harvest, but it tastes the exact same and the ingredients are the same. Obviously, we get Olipop every time we come in here. And this is an amazing price. <gasps> the Death Star's on it, Josh. Oh my God. These are the tortillas that we use in our house because the ingredients are so clean. It's up for my grandma because she wants it, but I would highly suggest to not use K-Cups I told her she doesn't really care, but they're horrible for you and they leach chemicals. This is the tuna that we get because it's tested for mercury and it's wild. Wild. And we always get this wild caught pink salmon to make salmon salad. And for our pizzas. Ew. Yeah. Sorry. No, we don't. This is all, this is for the dogs. They're wild caught too. But um, we make salmon salad instead of like tuna salad with that. This is for the dogs too. Organic brown rice. This is the marinara sauce that we get. Rayo's is super popular and I don't know why. This is better. Mm -hmm. This is the kids' favorite cereal and it's so good and the ingredients aren't that bad. Just got that. And I got four boxes. <laughs> This is another healthier cereal option for the kids. It's called Seven Sundays. Oh no, the Death Star's on that too, but there's only two left. That sucks. These are like a healthy cheese it I'm gonna check out. We just got a few things. How much do you think it's gonna be? $37. Oh my gosh, gosh. How much do you think it's gonna be? Probably $820. Oh, we'll let you know the grand total after we take off the stuff we got from my grandma. <laughs> okay, so we are done in, in Costco. And I did some math for you guys <laughs> so that we could figure out how much it costs just to feed our family of six, not including the dogs. So the grand total altogether was seven seventy five twenty eight. But, um... $53.98 of that was stuff that we picked up for other family members. And $59.86 of that is how much it cost 
to feed the dogs. So like the stuff I told you that was for the dogs, all of that totaled to $59.86. And that'll feed the dogs for about three weeks because uh, we do supplement with kibble, with some kibble now because um, we got another dog and he's a, um, a great Pyrenees. He's huge and we couldn't afford to feed him <laughs> the raw food diet. We had to supplement with some good kibble, which I can put the kibble that we use um, in the description box because it's a really good brand. Taste of the Wild. Um, yeah, it's from Taste of the Wild and we get the salmon version and then the, like right now we have the salmon version, but I've been like rotating between salmon and beef, I think. Was it beef or lamb? I think it was lamb. Anyways, so, but the grand total for how much it costs for just our family of six is $661.44. Person. And that doesn't include, because like right now we're gonna go to Sprouts to get some more meat because we don't get a lot of our meat at Costco. Um, so, I mean, it's, inflation's crazy. Like, we used to go, to Costco back in like, I remember going back in 2019 and um, the total was usually like 300. 300 to 500, like 500 on like a day that we got like everything. And like today we didn't even get everything that we always get because I had some, like I still had some chicken breast at home. I still had some Parmesan cheese at home. I still had certain uh, frozen fruits and veggies at home. So it was like, we didn't even get everything we usually get. Like if we ran out of absolutely everything, it would be over a thousand dollars for us to get everything that we need. Still cheaper than going out to eat though. Yeah, it's, I mean, it definitely makes sense. It's definitely cheaper than going out to eat. And we really do not go out to eat that often anymore. Not only is it expensive, especially with inflation to go out to eat now, but like when you're going out to eat, you don't know like the quality of the food or like what it was prepared in. And we're like so picky about that now, but now we're gonna go to Sprouts. Sprouts is not gonna be that bad because we're not picking up that much stuff. Um, mostly I just get milk from Sprouts. We usually get our milk from a farmer, but her milk cow has dried up um, because she's done, you know, breastfeeding her calf. So they're waiting until they get their, uh, until their other milk cow gets pregnant and then we can get milk again but Sprouts has a really good um, milk that's close to raw milk which is what we drink oh and we promised the kids we would get them some candy because oh, yeah. they memorized um, a Bible verse and every time they memorize a Bible verse that I let them pick out a candy and Sprouts has non-toxic candy so we're gonna get them some candy too so I'll let you guys know how much that one is <laughs> Hopefully not too much, but. This is gonna be a much more peaceful shopping experience because there's never a ton of people in here. Cottage cheese that we get. Yes, my favorite oranges. Make sure none of them are rotting in here. Always get a ton of bananas. They're all green, but you put some of these on me. Passion fruit is my favorite fruit in the whole world. I'm so happy right now. They're so expensive, <laughs> but it's worth it. I'm just gonna get a few. But they're my favorite things in the world. The cotton candy grapes. Got some sparkling waters. Curly kale beauty. and some collards. They're both organic. Collards are a powerhouse. Food? Yeah, when you're pregnant, they're so nutritionally dense. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some grass-fed roast. This is the meat that we like to get: the bison and the venison, ancestral blend and grass-fed. This is the candy for the kids. I've never seen this, but it looks so good. I really want to try it. The popsicles we came for are gone. The cotton candy flavor. 
but we haven't tried these blue ones yet. And the kids love these watermelon ones, so I'm gonna get those too. And these are the belts that we get. We're leaving Sprouts. I feel like we barely got anything. And the total is $203 even. And I feel like we barely got anything. All right, well, we have to go home and unload all this stuff. I'm thankful that we can get all these groceries, but ma'am, inflation is crazy. And putting away the groceries is never like super fun. <laughs> but, but I'm thankful we didn't have to do it with the kids too because they usually, if we go grocery shopping with the kids, we're out the entire day. Like we can't just go to the store and then go home. Like we have to stop a million times for them to use the bathroom and stuff. Yeah, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. <laughs> and if you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I put my Instagram in the description box. I'm really active on there. So if you want to give me a follow, you can keep up with some more of my stuff on there. I post recipes. I post cleaning, like before and afters. Um, just content like that. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks, y'all.